Hi all, Bricknut here. I've got a very big update because I've been a very busy little AFOL. I say little AFOL because I'm not very tall, I'm only five foot four. I'm a shorty. <laughs> anyway, as you will know from the video I put up last, I was going to completely take down my Lego Town again. <laughs> and rebuild the tables it was sitting on for multiple reasons one because I wanted them taller uh, two if they were taller I could have more storage space under there and three stronger so here we are problem is with this room because it's so small I can't like get it all in one shot unfortunately so here we go. <clears throat> the road layout and the railway layout is exactly the same. I've shuffled some buildings around, like these ones. As you know, they weren't here originally. In fact, these were here. The um, cycle shop was over the back, and the post office was in here somewhere. <clears throat> uh, but the actual road is exactly the same, and so is the railway line. But uh, the tables, as you can see, are now much, much taller. I will be, when I can, um, I've got to watch my foot, because uh, I've got Lego on the floor where I dropped, or knocked over, I should say, my um, clock tower. There's the base. <laughs> so I've got a bit of a jigsaw puzzle to put back together there. Anyway, I am going to paint this part of the table around here. Not on this end, because I'm going to put ply in there to board off the gaps there. So this gap and that gap and that gap won't be visible. Because <clears throat> uh, I'm going to turn this into like a little sort of canyon sort of area, wildlife sort of area. Um, this table is going to be made a little bit higher, probably up to about here. So the bridge would be from my hand up to there. These are just temporary, just to support the track so I can actually have a play with my trains. Because I actually find the sound of a train going round this track quite relaxing. In fact, I bet if I um, laid down and went, you know, in bed with these trains going round, I'd fall asleep quite easily. White noise like that makes me fall asleep. Anyway, um, I haven't decided where I'm going to put the TV transmitter yet was thinking up in that corner but I've got a feeling the train is going to knock it every time it goes around there so I might stick it I have absolutely no idea <laughs> um, I'll think of somewhere to put that so I want to put that cabin with it you know so I've got the transmitter and all the electronics would be in the cabin I've um, got a new building, we'll get to that in a minute. I've got the windows that I bought last week in here. And I actually went down again today because I had a bit of change um, in my pocket. So I bought three of these. The reason being I needed one more for the hospital because if you remember I only got one last week because that's all that was in the box. Today he had three so I got an extra one for the hospital and these two just so I've got a spare pair because I actually find that nine times out of ten I use more than one of these at a time so I figured I'd get the two I actually went in to see if he had any of these black windows because I needed some uh, for this project and thankfully he did so I grabbed some of those uh, and the only other two I grabbed which I've actually put away in that one, no. Here, there's a couple of these curved transparent blue windows as well. So I think I've actually got three of those and three of those now. But every time I go in there, if I see anything like that, I'm going to grab it because I have very little in the way of those. Which is why a lot of my buildings look a bit dull and boring because I don't have interesting windows. Anyway, 
As you can see, the two dark windows I put in there temporarily have been changed for nice blue ones. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Over in that far corner, we'll go over there now actually, where all this junk is. I'm going to put like a little park or something in here. Which means I've got to go shopping for some base plates. Lots of. Because <laughs> I need green ones to finish going down there. And I've got some half size 32 by 16s in there as well. I'll replace those because I'll want possibly a couple in here. It might overhang on this edge just a smidge. But I don't mind a little bit. It's when it was sort of overhanging by that and you could actually damage the plates. That's what was bugging me. So, fire station is back exactly where it was. I've actually got the road plate, put that road plate round the wrong way because I wanted to, you know, straight through for that little gas station. One day I'll um, build a mock one, but for now I think that will do. Obviously the taller vehicles can't get under there, but at least the bog standard cars can. The other thing I did, I've modified, well, I've added some things to the train station. I have added a wall, because we do not want the public getting onto the railway line. It's a dangerous place to be, so I've put that wall up the side of the steps that are in here, and I've put in a little path, pedestrian path, so... I can get to the station, added a lantern on there and added a lantern on there. I just prefer that look to the sort of floodlighty look up the top there. And because this was or is a set, you already know I've added that bit on. I bricked up the back so it looked like a complete building because we all know Lego leaves the backs of buildings open for playability. So, uh, as it looked a bit plain, I added some things on there just to make it look a little less plain and boring. I've added a couple of lanterns, I've added the um, vents along the bottom there, a little window ledge under each window, and right at the bottom, where they had the Technic brick there, where that dark grey brick is, and the light grey brick right in the middle there was um, red, two red Technic bricks. Um, if I just zoom out again, two of these actually. I changed those red ones for the grey and I put ordinary dark grey beams in rather than the Technic beams because I didn't like the look of the Technic beams. It's still got the Technic beams along the front there but you can't see those anyway and you need those to join this bit to that bit. So, oh yeah I forgot, I've added just a little lantern up there as well. So that's done. I've finished the roof on here. I managed to um, find enough of the two stud wide bricks, the two by two sloped bricks, to finish that. Uh, I think it's just this. The new building it has a detachable roof, and I'll just put it over there then for now. <laughs> Take the street light out as well. I can sort that out in a minute. Um, obviously it's nowhere near finished. But uh, I think the cars give it away. It's a, it's a sale room for cars. And obviously I'm going to have a forecourt in here as well. When it's all done. So I've got the main building done. The main showroom and office. So I will tile the floor with white tile. But I haven't got enough. And I'm going to get some nice new ones so they're nice and clean as well. Uh, but I need to put the furniture in anyway. So I'll get the furniture made up and put in here. This is just the office. This is just the showroom. So I'll, you know, I'll put something decorative up here like a plant or something. And perhaps another one in that far corner maybe. Um, to get the cars in and out, you simply do this. I put double doors in at the end and they do fold right the way back but obviously I've got the roof in the way there and they do work with the roof in. Oh, if I can just flick it on one-handed, see? 
they will close. There's a knack to doing this. You've got to do it together like that. Boop. Otherwise they're a bit of a pain to close. So yeah. It's actually, in all my time in building doors and things on buildings, especially like big garage doors, it's the first time I've done double doors like that. I don't even know what made me think of it. I was going to do roller doors, but then I thought, problem with that is I'm going to have the pillars going right down the middle, and I won't actually have anywhere to put the cars on in the showroom, so I opted just for two double doors that open up. But I would have preferred a rolling door, but never mind. So I've got a bit of detail to add on this roof, because it looks a bit plain, you know, perhaps some vents. Maybe an air conditioning unit like the one on the police station, I don't know yet. Uh, I do want to get some custom signs made. I know there's um, lots of other AFOLs out there that can print custom stickers. I'm just going to find one one of these days and uh, if they haven't already got what I want, see if they can um, print something off for me. I'm sure if I ask them and talk to some, they'll, uh, they'll uh, sort something out for me, won't they? Right, I want to put some outside benches in there for the little restaurant. In this area, I um, haven't quite decided yet. I was going to use it as like the railway yard, you know, where you'd put all the spare freight and whatnot, you know, put a couple of sheds in here. Or, sorry, I'll just keep the camera if you wondered what that judder was. Or I could, uh, you know, put another building in here, another store or something. Yeah, I'm getting quite a few stores. And I've got to keep in mind, I've got enough room up there to put, well, if I built the shops that sort of size, I could get four in there easily. Because I'm putting the hospital in this corner. Or my little medical centre, I should say. I've just got one, maybe two more floors to go. It depends what I can get on the next floor, so I need to get some tiles. I do wish the guy in town would um, sort the Lego so he's got all the tiles sorted out as well because I'd snap his hand off for them. I really would. They are so, so useful. Let's see if I can get my street light back in. There we go. But uh, yeah, this is actually the first building I've built in situ, actually on the town. Because all these other buildings I've built either here or at my computer desk, wherever I felt most comfortable, so... I am, uh, this is the first one... that I've done in situ. It's not a very tall building, I've just realised. Tall enough, though. It does the job. Bit of a... a blocky building. Uh, I've still got a bit you know, detail I'll add to it. I need some floodlights out here to light up the the uh, courtyard area, the forecourt. <clears throat> but I haven't decided what to do for floodlights yet. I could put some on here like I have along the front there, but I've got another. I'm gonna, um, if I can find them. I think it's this one. It is. Grey is just so boring, so let's go for some nice shiny chrome ones, shall we, on top of here. Just to spruce these up a little bit. There's another one. I'm sure that one's different. No, I don't want a nice bright green one, I want a nice shiny one. Three shiny ones like that. That one's different. Is there a... Yep, I have. Swap that. There we go. 
some nice shiny sort of chrome look grills on there just to finish that off <coughs> I'd actually forgotten about that till I was just stood here looking at it uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna have to invest in some grey tiles as well to do this in fact I'm gonna need thousands because if I'm gonna do the pathways like I have over there if I just zoom in and yeah there's a lot to do <laughs> So I am going to probably need thousands. Um, oh, before I end the video, I have seen some of the 2018 sets. There's a, again, a, I don't know what LEGO is doing. They're losing my interest. I love the LEGO City theme, but they are losing my interest again. There is literally a handful of sets at the moment. I could actually probably count them on one hand that I actually would go out and buy. The rest just, they're not really appealing to me. Come on, Lego. You're gonna have to up your game, guys. <laughs> uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing because that actually means I could uh, take a break from buying sets and just put the money that I would normally buy the sets with into my town and actually get somewhere with it so it actually looks a bit more I was gonna say complete but a Lego town or a Lego city never is complete is it because unlike a lot of other dioramas like double O gauge railways and gauge railways and whatnot where everything is permanently fixed with glue with all this Lego, if I get bored with a building or want to, you know, rebuild the fire station on a different design, then I just come along, flatten it, and uh, build something else. You know, it's a Lego city is just forever changing. You can be here forever, just changing things. So uh, I think that's why I actually prefer to build with Lego. I don't know if that's just me, but I was just looking at the front of that white octan shop there, which basically sells oils for your cars, and the roof just doesn't look level, does it? It doesn't. Nothing on it looks level. It looks like it's a. Uh, is it just me, or can you see that? Especially that roof line. The roof line looks like it's got a slight angle in it, like that. But I don't know if it's just the lighting or what it is. Speaking of lighting, nearly forgot, I've put my floodlights on that shelf now and eventually I will light up the buildings but that would be in the distant future. It's not expensive to light them up, well it is if you buy the um, what's the word, not off-brand um, I can't think of the word but you know what I mean, you can get the um, um, the street lights, LED street lights, you can actually buy them. They are expensive. Uh, but uh, I'm not really worried about street lights. I might try and do a few like I did before that light up with a diddy little LED. Um, but at least for now, I'm just more interested in getting the buildings lit, lit up. So, if anyone is interested to see how I'm going to do it more than anything, in case you guys want to do the same with your C, I will do a video on it. Um, and all the parts that I'm going to get. It's not that expensive to do if you do it yourself. It's not really that tricky either. If you've, Well, I say that if you've got general knowledge with electronics, you know, you know that you've got to have your positive and negative wires the right way around with LEDs and you and you know what voltage they require and you can't really go wrong but like I said I'll go through that on future videos just to put it out there as another idea instead of buying the expensive proper made stuff I'd love the streetlights but I don't have that money 
and they don't make them in this country so I would have to ship them in which is going to cost even more money if they even ship to this country I don't know if they ship abroad I think they're US based if I remember anyway I'm going to shut this video down like I said quite a lot to update on and there could be some more f um, updates in the near future because I am actually working on this quite a lot doing various things you know I could update you when I've done the uh, car showroom I need a name for it if anyone's got any ideas for names for that the cycle shop maybe the office block that I'm building and the cafe or even a name for the town itself feel free to um, put your ideas down below in the comments anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed this update and we'll uh, stick around for the further updates and I will uh, talk to you all again very soon I hope bye bye